97 on the box is Young Jazz here. Very special guest in the studio. Why don't you introduce yourself to everybody out there? What's up, guys? I'm Mike. Uh, I play in a, uh, a band called Hotel Ugly, and uh, you know, that's yeah. me. I'm so, here. And you're from Houston. I am, yes. Yeah. How long have you been in Houston? <sighs> Roughly, what, 15 years now? Mm -hmm. For what, a while, so. What school did you go to? High school? Yeah. Uh, College Park in the Woodlands. Oh. I went to high school in the Woodlands. Uh -huh. And then, you know, I moved to the city, you know, after I started doing my thing. So when did you first, like, start getting into music, doing music? I've played music since, like, I was a little child. So I was, like, seven, year old, or seven years old, like, playing guitar, piano, and stuff like that. Um, and then I really started doing, like, professionally. I wouldn't say professionally, actually. Like, I started <laughs> making beats and, you know, engineering just my homies and stuff like that. And then... Uh, In high school? Mm-hmm. Right, like, right, like... Senior year, like right out of high school type. Did you teach yourself or somebody taught you? So I was mainly self-taught. Um, but after a while, I went to, uh, I was like interning at a bunch of studios around the city and stuff. And, uh, you know, some some like higher up engineers or, you know, definitely became like my mentors and like put me on. Shout so, out. Who, 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 who? Uh, the guy, my guy, John Stevens, John Allen Stevens. That's one of the goats in the city as far as engineering goes mm -hmm. uh, and amongst other things too, but. Yeah, John, that's 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 the guy who taught me everything I know. Whoa, so you do mm -hmm. engineering and stuff too? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, okay, so mm -hmm. like when you started at seven, were were people in your family into music and stuff? Uh, so like my dad had like a guitar always sitting around when I was younger. Mm -hmm. So you know, acoustic. Yeah, acoustic. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I always like played around with it, but uh, no one was too too musical around me. I kind of just picked it up on my own and did my thing. Yeah. Whoa, and now the rest is history. Yeah, I guess so. We're here now. So. Okay, we have to talk about now because now you're like freaking blown up. Like, it's incredible. Like, mm -hmm. okay, wait, rewind. How did you pick the name Hotel Ugly? So, me and my brother both collectively collectively came up with that uh, name. Mm -hmm. um, we were originally going to go by the name of uh, Community College. <laughs> that was our original name. Mm -hmm. And then... Uh, and then my brother was. Uh, he did y'all like, go to community college? We didn't. Okay. Well, well uh, my brother did. I didn't. Okay. I just. HCC. Or Lone Star? No, you uh, Oh, uh, Lone Star. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah cool. I didn't. I didn't go to either. Mm -hmm. I graduated high school and kept it pushing. Mm -hmm. But um, but uh, oh yeah, I think uh, what was I saying? Oh, the name. Yeah. So yeah, there's this uh hotel in Bryan, Texas called Hotel Bryan, and uh, we basically took that name and just altered it to hotel ugly and we liked how it sounded mm -hmm. so we kind of just is it ugly took it. it's very it's very ugly <laughs> wait did y'all actually stay there no no we didn't oh. we just saw it in passing mm -hmm. you know what i mean so um we just like kind of play, played with the name and we liked how it sounded it's, it's really that's all it came down to we like how it liked how it sounded and mm -hmm. now it like formed a life of its own so so did you ever expect like all of this as you've been like making music creating music like is this Not was this kind of like the goal well, this was definitely the goal. I yeah. definitely wanted to, you know, I was trying to go up, you know, go up in yeah. music, you know what I mean? Um, but when I had originally put these songs out, you know, I had no plans for them. I was just bored and we put these songs out and not bored. No yeah, way. Yeah, you know what I mean? We were just we just put I think we put like four sound or four songs out on SoundCloud mm -hmm. and they got like 5,000 streams and we we're like, "Oh, that's fucking crazy, <laughs> dude." So so we uh, we put everything on streaming, and next thing you know, just people just gravitated immediately. And this it. was in twenty twenty, yep. before twenty twenty. So mm -hmm. it was during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. was that like? Did you feel like that like held you back from like being able to go out and tour and do things, or was it good because that was the beginning? I think it helped us. One hundred percent helped us. How so? Um, I think everybody was cooped in the house, mm -hmm. and they were looking for artists to listen to, looking for new music, looking for stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And everybody was bored on their phones. I, I, mean, I don't really know what happened, but... Um, yeah, what happened for real? What was the it, first song that like started popping off? Shut Up My Mom's Calling. Okay. That's the one. Yeah. And still to this day, that, that song... Is going That's still crazy. new to so many people, though. Yeah, I know yeah. to you it's probably not, but like, yeah, it's so. Miss so Connie was gonna have to put her own. Yeah, down, exactly. Like. <laughs> exa she's probably heard it. She probably heard it when she I was has. still mixing it. But uh, yeah, no, um, yeah, that was the first song that, that was going up, and yeah, it's there's still new people who are discovering that song and totally. really all the other songs as well. Yeah. And uh, yeah, but I probably made that what two, three years ago. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So. Are you tired of it? You know, some people are like, I'm so tired of this song. Yeah, yeah. It, it is funny because every time I open TikTok, like, I see a video with it on there. So it's, it's, yeah, yeah, it's pretty thing. funny. So I'm like, oh, my God. Like, I, I, like, scroll through it. But no, I fucking love it. Like, I'm so blessed. Like, yeah. it's, it's, 
so cool. What about the whole sped up thing? We have to talk about that because mm -hmm. I feel like I literally just woke up one day and everything on TikTok, like everyone yeah. just wants sped up music. I'm like, what is going on? Yeah, exactly. I don't know where. I don't understand. I don't know where the fascination really came from, <laughs> but. Did the sped up version go crazy before the original or it was the original first? Original first. Okay. Yeah, so the original went up first and then somebody, um. Somebody else had sped up my song on TikTok and started making videos with it. Mm -hmm. And uh, we saw that it was like doing really well. Mm -hmm. So we basically just made our own sped up version. We released it mm -hmm. ourselves. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, once you do that, it gets on like TikTok and whatever and, yeah. and the streamings. And uh, people just started using that sound and it became known as well. You but know you I mean? haven't so even made a TikTok to it, have you? I have not. I knew it. I was <laughs> no, like, I wait haven't. a minute. Where's the original I TikTok? Like, I no haven't. dance, nothing like that. Nah, You're like, nothing. just let it do what it's doing. We there, we did make, like, a, a, a TikTok a while back of, like, showing our dad, like, our and song. And T. Wayne. Shout out to T. Wayne. Yeah, He's yeah. the reason that you're here right now. Yeah, exactly. Too. I was just going to say, Wayne shot our first, like, uh, that TikTok. That was the first, like. Well, we did one before that where it's, like, we're, like, playing the song or something, right? We're, like, yo, we're Hotel Glee, yeah. and we're, like, playing our song. <laughs> And uh, Wayne was like, dude, just trust me. He's like, just put, he's like, just sing, sing a song on TikTok and sing your shit and just put it out. Mm -hmm. And we did it. And overnight after that video, went crazy. Actually, the, the one with you and Perp. <laughs> Wait, the one with you guys in the car. That was the, really the first one. So there was like a, there was like a little uh, span of like three TikToks that like really like we collectively made and. Mm -hmm. And uh, that just got us known, I guess, on the internet. Well, is, has there been anybody that's like been listening to your music or somebody where you're like, damn, I can't believe, like. I mean, the whole was world. There, you have, like, yeah, music, yeah, yeah. Music. I don't know. Yeah, I don't really know. I know. Uh, I know there was a. There's a few people who like posted videos like listening to our songs. I know mm -hmm. Central C posted a, a video oh, listening to it once. I yeah. fuck with Central C too. So. Yeah. yeah, he was like on some like sweet like view like jamming <laughs> jamming the song so i was like dang shout out to him dude so speaking yeah, so. of jamming the song because i was talking to one of my coworkers, Todd shout out one time behind the camera about like uh like the sound of your music like has anybody are people like trying to like kind of like make you pick a genre sort of vibe yes and no like people ask me all the time like what genre of music i make and like even like people who i meet for the first time and like i just say indie you know i really don't know what, don't know what to call it mm -hmm. um but uh yeah i just try to keep the vibes like really psychedelic it has no real you know name it's just hotel ugly you know what i mean ah, okay so who did you grow up listening to some Ooh. inspirations influences maybe definitely grew up on guns and roses mm. i love them a lot of bob marley um that was like when i was really young like um and then after a while you know a lot of in high school i was i loved like rap music i was i was all over like the Wiz Khalifa wave, yeah. um, love Drake, you know what I mean? And like, especially those guys and their songwriting skills and mixed with like, you know, my background, like rock music, like it just all, I think collectively like meshed together. And, mm -hmm. yeah. So you have like, maybe like what, like 10 songs out or so? About, I think maybe like a little more, maybe like 12 or something. I really don't know. You could be right, honestly. I, I, I'm not sure. So do you sure. have about a bunch 10. of songs in the vault? Are you just I holding do. out on this? Oh, okay. I okay, do. Okay. I got a lot of stuff. I'm working on some cool stuff right now. I actually have a single coming out on uh, February 2nd. Whoa, what's yeah. it called? It is going to be called Action Figures Fighting. Whoa. Yes, that's the name. Right. comes out February 2nd. Uh, this is the first time I'm actually saying that. Whoa. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, bell, yeah. I'll, I'll, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll announce it on IG uh, another time okay. tomorrow. Cool. But yeah, so that's that's uh, that's what's coming out. I have another single coming out um, after that, and then um, I'm planning on putting out the album and then starting Ooh. starting the tour. Not EP, like album, album. full on album. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Mm -hmm. And starting mm -hmm. a tour? Mm -hmm. You already have the mm -hmm. tour plan? It's in the it's in the works. It's, it's gonna the, be this it, year though. Yep. Yes, yep. we're yep. in there. We're in yep. there. You're gonna have a Houston stop. Yes. Oh, wait yes. A minute. Yes. Hold on. I have something special planned for Houston, of course, as always. Like an album but, party, like like uh, some before. Well, now I am. Okay, perfect. now we're doing we that. Got ideas. Let's we got go, ideas. album party. Let's go. Yeah, okay. you should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we got we got some uh, cool stuff planned. We're we're gonna try to make it like a an overseas tour as well. So we're gonna try to hit like you know the UK. Because you can see like all your fans in different countries. Exactly, you have a lot exactly. of overseas. What's the top country besides here? Our top city right now Where's is London. Really? Yeah, London. Over Houston. Yep. Is Houston even in top ten? Houston's like six or seven. Oh. Okay, and they cool. still and Houston still shows out, you know what okay, I mean? Good, it's like good. it's like London, LA, uh like Chicago. Mm -hmm. 
and I think like Sydney, Australia, there's like something like that. Like it's mostly like overseas people. So. Yeah. And the one show that you did in Houston last year, that was your first time doing like a big show in Houston. I think so. Did we do one like pretty big? Nah, yeah, we did a pretty big. Wait, we did warehouse too, huh? Yeah. I can't even remember. Yeah, warehouse I... blues too. We did a couple. We did a couple pretty tight Houston shows. We did like like maybe two or three. Damn. We'll yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we gotta get on it. Oops, yeah, my yeah. bad, my bad. No, okay, wait. Good. Before I let you go, what's another question I have to ask? Um, 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 are you, do you have any videos coming next too? Like music videos? Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Uh, I have a lot of videos planned for these upcoming singles mm -hmm. and the songs on uh, the upcoming album. Mm -hmm. So yeah, my 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 videographer team is on go right now. We're ready to put in some work. So. How the hell did you come up with the chore monster? What oh, that's hilarious. I was like, what kind of what? Yeah, that was actually um, an idea that was pitched by one of our directors, uh, Travis Champagne. That dude's crazy. He's awesome. He's from Houston? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome director. He, he's, he's really awesome and creative. Uh, he suggested that we use like some sort of like monster in our video and we just you know searched around for like a, an awesome like character actor with mm -hmm. you know the uh necessary like <laughs> effects and stuff and um c you know uh, the day of the the music video we we're just like how funny would it be if this monster was just like doing all these chores like it was a really just like freestyle idea so right. and uh yeah and it just turned out just so good and what about and, the title of the song too Shut up my mom's calling honestly we just there's it has no connection to anything we just it, it's something like you say like when you're with like you're young and you're like with some homies like I don't, whatever you're doing like you're smoking you're drinking like whatever yeah. you're doing like your mom calls you're like yo everybody shut up my mom's calling right now and that's just like the vibe of like what it is it has nothing to do with really the song it's just more of like the song names have their own story you know what i mean like separate from like the actual song mm -hmm. so that's what i was thinking i was like what is the connection yeah 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 know? yeah and most of the songs are like that they have nothing to do with the you know they <laughs> just have they just have like their own meanings w with themselves like the song fucking grandmother for instance oh, like yeah. the reason that song's mm -hmm. called grandmother is because i the synths that were being played were played on a grandmother synth and that was like the name of the synth what's the synth it's like a synthesizer, like keyboard, like piano yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's it's basically like the name of a of a of a keyboard. Okay. And um. And it was in grandma mode. Yeah, it's called it's called the grandmother. It's okay. like oh, yeah, it's, it's, called it's the pretty much in grandma mode. That's what it is, grandma mode for sure. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Nah, um, yeah, yeah. So yeah, they just have like weird names, but mm -hmm. you know. Okay, so before I let you go too, like, do you have like are some there's some things like bucket list things that you've always wanted to do that mm -hmm. are on your list mm -hmm. as far as music goes. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I've hit a few. Already? Hit a few. Like what? Like what? Tell us. So, one of my bucket list things was going platinum. Mm -hmm. And I believe Shut Up My Mom's Calling it officially went platinum. We? Uh, probably like two weeks ago. Damn, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. That, that was always like a big, a big milestone. Shit, that's crazy. Yeah, I still need to get my plaque. I haven't uh, received it yet. Yeah, but we're, 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 once it comes, then yeah. I'll check back in. Yeah. But, uh, and yeah, uh, a world tour is definitely on the bucket list. So, hopefully, we can knock that one out. That's coming soon. this year, though. Exactly, exactly. Uh, so... Mm -hmm. And those are really the two things I've been like working for, for like all these years. Just mm -hmm. Try to go platinum and get a world tour, and then we can, we can make moves once that happens, and we'll That's see. Amazing. So and when you do all that, you gotta come back to Houston. Don't forget. Of about course, it. Don't of course, about of it. course, of course. Thank you again for so much for coming. Wait, I have one more thing before we're finished. We have this box. Now it's a little explicit, okay? Okay, okay, okay. I know your girlfriend's here. You know, don't get <laughs> okay. mad at us. Just, okay, okay, okay. Just pick some things out of there, you know. Okay, okay. What do I? What, what do I do? I put my hand in here. Yeah. This thing? <laughs> oh, jeez. We'll just do three. We'll give it a All right, all right, One night stands. How do you feel? <laughs> One night stands. All right. Uh, Wait, I'm supposed to say, what am I supposed to say? Your opinion on whatever. My opinion? I think um, they're good. Yeah? I think they're good every once in a while, you know? All right. Let some steam off. Hang out, <laughs> hang out, with, your, hang out with your friends. But always respectfully. Yes, and respectfully. Always, and always give them a call in the morning. That's right, mean? just to make sure so, they made it. All right, exactly, that's a good answer. Exactly. Let's do one more. Two Another more, two one. more. <laughs> I like your hat too, by the way. It's thank good. you, thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, God, I'm turning red. Me too. Turn on. I'm scared for you. Oh, uh, okay. This is easy. This is an easy one. <laughs> toes. What? Toes. You're into toes? I like toes. You're a toe sucker? I'm a toe sucker. Oh my god. I'm a toe sucker. It's true. It's true. It's true. She's That's like, it yep, it's true. It's true. It's very true. Do you like I, toe pictures too or not that far? 
like I'm not gonna seek out toe picks, but no, like, I. but like if uh -oh. I receive some toe picks, you know, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely accept a toe wow. pick or two. Has yeah. it always been like that? Because I always wonder. I'm like. Is yeah, it, yeah, it's yeah. like a new fad, but no, it's not. Nah, You're like, nah, nah, it's been see. around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, okay, one I'm more, one more, the, one more. OG with the toes. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Last one. Good answer. Turn offs. Okay. Ooh, that's a good one. Hmm. Um, uh oh. <laughs> I have to stay politically correct. Here. No, you don't. No, see. you don't. No, you don't. Turn offs. I. This might sound bad, but you know, like, there's not really much. You know. <laughs> like I guess <laughs> there's not really much guys you know I'm pretty I'm pretty open out here so you know there's nothing that you know like bad breath like you know something well like of that, course like... of course you know you got your bad breath you got your or like uh... too much talking or something no, I can't force it on you you, you know what is <sighs> being like too like conceited mm. you know like self-absorbed yeah no, nobody likes that. You know what I mean? Like too much of that. You know keep I mean? it chill. Yeah. Keep it if beat. we're gonna be honest, yeah, yeah. So yes. keep right. it chill. Keep it down to earth, Got humble. You, you know what I mean? Yes, I like so. that. Thank you again so much for coming in today. Hotel cool. Ugly, the building, or maybe seven on the box.